Hey everyone, welcome to Viro's Craft Studio. Today I'm going to be showing you how I design my own custom labels using the free version of Canva. Now this video is not sponsored by Canva, even though I wish it was. I love Canva. But we are going to be using the free version of it, so it's open to anyone. If this is your first time seeing my channel, welcome. There is another part to this video I'm going to try to link down in the description. And for people who saw my other video, there was a lot of people in the comments that were wondering why I didn't include this in the other video. The answer to that is because there's some people that don't actually like to see the technological side of label making. So I decided to just put it into two parts instead of lumping it together for those people. Anyway, let's get into our video. Alright, welcome to the Canva homepage. I'm going to be showing you how I create labels using the free version of Canva. And to start, I'm going to be going to the custom size option. Now for custom size, you can put in the width and the height of whatever paper you're going to be printing your labels onto. Now I'm just going to be inputting it in inches. And I'm just going to be using just the plain printer paper that comes with most printers um, so that is going to be 8.5 inches by 11 inches now it gives you different suggestions that you can use down here but i'm just going to stick with this all right so now we just have this blank canvas here and we're going to start adding the different boxes in so we're going to go to elements and then in the search bar for elements we're going to type in rectangle box. Okay. And then we're going to go to graphics. And now the ones that have the crowns here, those are for Canva Pro. So we're not going to be using those. But we're going to look for a rectangle box that looks good. I'm going to go with this one because this fits more my design. All right. So now we're going to make this large. And then we're going to center it in our paper. So those different red lines show you that it's centered on all sides of the paper. Okay. And so in my design, I have a dotted line that goes inside this box. And that just shows me where I'm going to sew it on. Um, but for a lot of people in the comments, they were saying that you could glue it on. Um, you could do the hidden seams. You could do lots of different things. Now, just because I'm a beginner sewer, I'm just sewing the labels on. But I'm definitely going to use the recommendations that people gave. So if you're gluing it on, you don't need to put the dotted lines. Um, if you like the dotted line then use them. But if not, that's just what I put in my design. So I'm going to actually, we're going to use that same thing. We're going to use the rectangle box. Didn't mean to click out of it. Okay. And then we're just going to scroll down until we see something like this. So this one is Canva Pro. So I'm going to keep scrolling until I see one that is free. You can see it has m many different options. Like you don't have to stick with just this box, but this is how I did mine. All right, so here's a free one right here. So I'm going to just make this even inside the box. There isn't a exact measurement, but I just wanted it to look nice in the box. So that looks nice and even. Okay, so then I'm gonna start on the little designs, the logo and the different text that's in here. All right, so let's make up a company to put in here because I'm not going to show exactly how I make mine, but I'll show you an example so that you can make your own. So to start, let's think of a company name. Um, maybe let's do something like Comfy Cat Clothes. Okay, let's try that. So we're going to start with, let's try a cat. Let's do, let's do a cat outline. All right, so then we're going to go to graphics. And then we're just going to scroll through these. This one's cute. I like that one. Let's keep scrolling through the different ideas. See if we can find a free one. This one's cute, but this one is Canva Pro, so we can't use that. You know what? Let's just go with this one up here. All right, so I'm going to click on it, and it's going to put it into this box. 
Then I'm going to just shrink it down to the size I would like it. Center it. I think that's cute. Let's make it just a little bit bigger. Leave some space for some text. Okay. Now you can actually change the color of this. You can come up here to the color of the element. You can change it any different color you would like. I'm just going to be sticking with black because I like the way that looks. Okay, and then you can you could put different um, backgrounds, boxes. You could try to do yarn. Oh, I cannot spell to save my life. Okay, so then let's go back to graphics. We could put a ball of yarn in there. Basket of yarn. We can do some cute stuff. But I actually, I think I kind of like it looking like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text down here to say the name of my company. So I'm going to go over to this bar. I'm going to put in text. And I like just adding a text box because you can customize whatever size. But you can use these that come in different sizes. They also have different font combinations that you can use. But I'm just going to add a text box. So this thing right here expands it this direction. And this here expands the um, the size. So I'm going to center it. And then you can just backspace this. I'm going to change the font. So let's see. I have multiple different font options here. I like the handwriting. They have different options up here that you can use. Corporate display headings paragraph. I'm going to go with handwriting one. And then you can search the different options. If you had text on here, it would be better. So let me just let me actually type in the company name. We're gonna do what it was comfy cat clothes. Okay. And then we're gonna just change the font. Let's look. What about this one? You know, that's actually cute. I like that. Okay, we're going to stick with this one. And then I'm going to just make this a little bit tighter just so it looks better. And then we're going to space it. Make it larger. And then center it. Okay, so I think that that looks pretty cute. It has the company's logo right here. It has the company's name. And then it has where you can sew, which is completely optional. This is what it looks like without that, which I think is really dang cute. This is what it looks like with it. Okay, so now what we're going to do, this is a very important step. After you are done designing your logo, you're going to want to click over to the side and then drag the purple box over everything, okay? There's a better name for that, but I am not technically savvy, so I don't really know. <laughs> I just say purple box. So then you're going to want to group them together. So this makes it so that you can move all of it as a whole. So then we're going to put our label down to the size that you want. My labels, I measured, they come out to be about two inches in length and one inch in height. So I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to that. So I'm going to be doing two inches width. Well, yeah, one inches in height. Okay. So then I'm going to move it to the top corner here. Now I can get about four labels across and eight labels down on my sheet. Depending on what size labels you want, that's going to differ. So... I'm just going to be doing this two by 1.1 inch labels. So now that we have it in the spot that we would like it to be, we're going to click this button right here, which is duplicate. Now that just duplicates the one that we already have. Now we're going to move it right next to the other one. And it shows you different guidelines with those pink lines or the different guidelines on where to put it in spacing. I'm just going to put it right next to it. Then we're going to click duplicate two more times. So duplicate, duplicate. Now something I love about Canva is once you've duplicated it, I mean, once you put the duplicate next to the other one, it just inputs it next to the other ones, if that makes any sense. 
Then, now that we did that, we're going to do the purple box thing again. We're going to group it. Now we have all four of the little logos, or labels, my bad, together. So, then what we're going to do is we're going to click duplicate again. Space it. And just keep duplicating until you fill up your entire sheet. Perfect. So now we have all of our labels exactly spaced evenly and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So we get eight down and four across if you're using the two inch width and 1.1 height. So I think that this looks great. Um, so yeah, so this is the finished labels now what something you can also do if you don't like the position is you can group all of this together like that then they can move evenly within the whole page but i i don't think that's really necessary okay so now printing this if you're going to be using this for transfer paper which honestly this method really is just for transfer paper but i know that there's a lot of different methods out there but for transfer paper specifically, you need to have the image reversed. So in order to reverse an image in Canva, you need to download it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're going to download this. So we're gonna go to share, click download, and then they give you different file types that you can use. I'm just gonna be using the PNG like it's suggested and I'm gonna be using all the other suggested items or suggested options that they have here. And then I'm just gonna download it, okay? It's downloading. All right, it's downloaded now. So now I'm gonna go back to the home page, and I'm going to click custom size again. And it's saved all these options. So I'm just gonna click create new design. Then, now that we have it downloaded, we're going to go over to this option over here, which is Uploads. You're going to want to Upload File, and then click the downloaded file that you just had. All right, now it's downloaded. We add it to our blank canvas here. Stretch it to be the exact width of the paper. Perfect. And you click it, and then you're going to go to this option up here, which is Flip flip horizontal and it flips your image and then you'll want to download this. So that is how you make your own labels and that is how you reverse your labels to use for transfer paper using Canva free version. All right, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was able to help you guys understand how to use Canva a little bit better. Again, I'm not a professional when it comes to it, but I hope I was able to help a little bit. And I also hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, if you would like to support my channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. All right, have a good day. Bye.